Autism is usually diagnosed by behavior, but this new study points to a chemical signature inside the brain. Here is what happened and why it matters. Researchers at Yale scanned the brains of 16 autistic and 16 non-autistic adults with a PET tracer that binds to a receptor called MGLU5, involved in glutamate signaling. Across much of the brain, the autistic group showed lower levels of this receptor than the comparison group. That supports the idea that autism involves shifts in the balance between excitatory and inhibitory signals, not just differences in single brain regions. The team also recorded EEG activity and found patterns that tracked with how much MGLU5 was available, hinting that a simple cap of sensors could one day stand in for invasive scans. Because today's autism diagnoses rely entirely on checklists and interviews, a reliable biological marker could eventually help with earlier detection or with matching people to clinical trials and treatments. At the same time, the researchers stress that their small, verbal adult sample cannot represent the full autistic community, and that lower MGLU5 might be an effect rather than a cause. I think this work is promising precisely because it is cautious about what it can explain. It suggests that future therapies could become more personalized while still treating autistic people as partners in care, not problems to be erased.